Hello, and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm the Mingo. Special K. Tonight we're doing a Goose Island beer. It's Goose Island Four Star Pilsner. Um, interesting. It says, we don't need to be the only beer you drink. We just want to be the best beer. Okay, I like that. Hockey. Yeah. 5.1% alcohol by volume. If you don't know, uh, Goose Island is owned by Anna Bush. Uh, that's why they oh, oh explosions. <laughs> that's why they are everywhere. Uh, we haven't done a Goose Island beer in a long time. I think the Minnesota might have been the last one we did. Yeah. The last one I remember us doing. We got a nice pint can, so it's enough to split between two people comfortably. They look that perfect. And our nice uh, eight ounce glasses here. Um, so, uh, it's very carbonated. Yeah, we have a carbonation. As soon as you pour it, I'm like, that is extremely carbonated. Uh, head is off white. Mm -hmm. Very hoppy, a little citrus up front. Very citrusy. Yeah. Very hoppy. What would you say? Is that grapefruit citrus or? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll have to find out. It's probably the hops. It's probably citrus hops. It's what the grapefruit is yeah. coming from. All right. Let's take a taste. It's a very hoppy pilsner, but yeah. it's more floral than it is bitter. Right. Um, so you get the nice you get the nice hot presence, but it doesn't have that strong bitter aftertaste. It's a little sweet too. Mm -hmm. Kind of malty. Uh, bitterness is just very light up front. Then it finishes kind of malty and a little bit of citrus on the tongue. Right. I could deal with this as like the first beer that I you know and then switch. That's well, light. I mean, yeah, it's exactly. Cool. I mean, it is a pilsner. It's nothing like spectacular right. right home about, but I mean, I paid like a buck twenty nine for a sixteen ounce can at like Thornton's, so it was super cheap. Right. Um, I like the fact that they have Goose Island in cans. I like to see more craft esque beers mm -hmm. in cans uh, and available in singles like this because I hate going to liquor bar and paying like twelve dollars for a six pack. Right. You know, I like to see, hey, what if I just want to try it? I like it. What if I just want a sixteen ounce can? Because mm -hmm. a sixteen ounce can, in my opinion, is like perfect to get a good, right? You know, good feel for that beer. Um. It's a little bready. It's good. It's not great. Uh, I'm gonna give it a. Uh, I'll give it a six and a half. So it's, it's above average, going towards the good range. Um, but the, I think there are better pilsners out there. But this one's not bad by any means. Right. Uh, it's just kind of. It's almost a little boring. Like it yeah. does have the nice floralness up front. That's what it's got going for. It. But other than that, it's just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna give it a six. Um, it would be nice if you're trying to make the transition into more hoppier beers, and yeah. or if you're like just straight up I trying want to get the a Budweiser or yeah. something like that, and you're trying to expand your horizons with flavors. This yeah, this really has nice. a lot of hop flavor, but right. it doesn't have, it doesn't it doesn't have, have the, the bitterness. bitterness. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you're transitioning into a, yeah, like from if you're coming from drinking Bud Light and shit, this might yeah. this probably be too much for you, but this would be a good step. Right in the right going up to well, more of the craft right beer markets. But yeah. yeah, would you recommend it? I would. I would only recommend it if, if you are that new to transition. beer. Yeah. yeah, I'd only recommend it if you're new to beer. If you're, you know, have had beers before, you're, you know, you've had a lot of different beers. This is mm -hmm. this isn't going to wow you in any way. Right. Uh, so I can't, like, if you're a veteran beer drinker, I can't recommend it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's our episode. If there's something you would like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K, and I'm the Mingo. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.